Hello guys, welcome back to Alpha Creations. It's a pleasure to have you join me here once again. And in today's tutorial, we are again going to continue with the business of logo design. So, as usual, we open Inkscape. With our Inkscape opened, first, we go to View, make sure we're working in Custom, go to File, Document Properties, the display unit should be in pixels. The unit also in pixels. You can come down here and check these boxes out. So to begin, on our left side, we come here for the Bezier pen or the pen tool. We make a point, we hold control, extend this horizontally, click to make another point. And now we press enter to deselect it. But what we have here at the very top here, we give it a width of say 750 like this. Now, next thing to do at the very top here, we open the edit ingredients and colors menu. With that opened, this, we come to stroke style, make sure you're working in pixels give it a width of say three pixels like this with this done we again take our bezier pen we're going to make a vertical line so we click we hold control extend this vertically make another point here we press enter to deselect it and again with this we give it a height of say 50 and again a width of 3 pixels. With our enable snapping um, turned on from here, we snap the edge of this vertical line to the point here, like this. The X indicating it snapped, so we leave it there, like this. Now we select this, we right click, we duplicate. We bring this down here again we take this we bring it down here like this we change the height to say 25 like that so what we'll do next we again select this right click we duplicate we bring that copy just down here like this. Again, we come for this vertical line. We snap it to the edge here. We increase the height to 120. Like this. Again, select this. We right click. We duplicate. We bring a duplicate copy. Like this. Down here. Having done this, what we do next, select this vertical line again, give it the same width as the first and second lines, the interval between them, which is 50. So again, 50 pixels, like this. We select this, right click, we duplicate, we bring that copy down here. Now, we don't need this vertical line anymore, so we delete it. So having our lines this way, what we do next is select the first three lines. That is this, holding shift, we click on this, and the third. We right click again, we duplicate it, we go straight to path, then we combine. Having these three combined, which are duplicate copies, we again hold shift, click on this, that's the fourth line, again go to path. Then we combine like that. Now, having, did, having done this, we again select this again to have the rotation handles. Holding control, we hold one of the control handles here. We are going to rotate clockwise direction just four times like this one, two, three, and four like that. Having done this, and with 
this line selected we right click again then we duplicate so having a second copy of this we come up here then we flip the selected object horizontally like this having done this what we do next click out to deselect now we are going to select these two lines going up since they are all combined we click on this we hold shift and click on that now we'll notice the two objects are selected from the very down button here two objects selected of type path in layer content so again we hold control we bring this down to about say here so what we do next is to select all our lines here and combine it like this with all these lines selected again go to path combine like this then the next thing to take a square make a square going around this lines like this Having done this, we lower this selection one step behind to have our lines in front. So we come up here, lower selection one step, or the shortcut to that is page down. So we click on this once to have our lines come on top. So again, holding shift with our square selected, seeing the handles here, we click on our lines this way to have it also selected. Again, go to path, division. Having our parts divided, we click out to deselect. And again, we click on this square, then we delete it. Holding control and scrolling up the mouse wheel or using the plus on the keyboard, we scroll in like this. Again, we are going to cut out the shape of our design. So, what we'll do next is following me carefully. We are going to cut out the shape J and M, representing the name of the client. So we select this, holding shift, we click on that, this, and this. Then we delete them like that. So we select this to delete it. So, this becomes the name of our client. That's the initials, the letter J and M. So, to take out the strokes in all this design, again, we make sure we select everything here, like this. Again, go to path, then union, to unify each and every path here. And again, we hold Control and Shift. We scale this all the way up bring it up like this but one last thing we notice that at the very edge here we actually want this going in there inward like this so again control Z to undo each and every action like this we hold control we zoom in all the way we select the very stroke here now we delete it to have this again scroll out like this we select everything here Again, go to path, then we unify the path, union. Again, holding this handle, pressing Ctrl and Shift, we scale this all the way up, like this. Having done this, now we give the client's name beneath it. So again, we come over here, create and edit text objects, we click on that. We give it the name like this. 
again holding control and shift we bring this all the way up so about say here so again we come to the very top over here where we have select the font family we click on that and the font you are going to use for this is Kirsty. Now, this very font in the first place looks exactly just like our logo we have here. So also in logo making, we also have to pay close attention to the kind of fonts we use for our logos. In a way, just to match them. So having done this, holding shift, we select on our logo. Again, we scale this all the way up, bring it here like this. Then, Ctrl plus G to group them together like this. Holding shift, selecting our background, which is the white color. We come up here, the align and distribute menu, click on that to open. Now, we align this vertically and horizontally, like that. So, this becomes the name of the client and the logo. Just a simple and a typographical logo like this. And in today's Windows tip, what I want to share with you all is equally how to take screenshots off your screen and also how to do some basic screen recording. Now, the software used is called ShareX. That is the software. And basically, this is what the software can do. This software in the first place helps the user take screenshots or full screen, either a monitor section or a region, and equally helps in screen recording. With this same software, you can use it to do a lot of stuff. You can also share each and every screenshot you take directly from here onto any of your social media handle sites. And once again, and as always, thank you so much for watching.